to our new location. We're 127 Broadway. Just got the signage done in the window here. And if you look down the street there, we're actually just a couple doors down from where we were. And it's on the corner of Monument and Broadway. Let me show you that. That's right across the street from us. And right next to us, what they're setting up is going to be a coffee shop, which we'll be supporting. Not done yet, but it's getting there. Progress. We're still a little messy back here, but we're just about all moved in. There's our new work area. Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Trey with Reboot IT. Here today we're going to show you how to wire in your MacBook Pro Logic or um, trackpad and keyboard into a USB. And this does work, we have verified it. First, you want to find your contact points. We have three here. You got positive, data negative, data positive, and ground. Add a little flux. Just a dab, don't need too much. Take your soldering iron. You want to solder your USB 5 volt source to the first pin right here. Just like that. Then you come with your green wire, data negative. Right here next to it. And why would someone want to do this project? If the logic board stops receiving signal from the USB port on the top side of the board from the keyboard and mouse basically means your trackpad and your keyboard are non-responsive. You hit caps lock, you hit option button at startup, nothing happens. That is a hardware fault with the Apple logic board and rather than spend three or four hundred dollars replacing the entire board, a little easier just to uh, solder some wires to it and get it working. Via the USB. Yep. You lose a USB port, but you keep your computer running perfectly fine. Rather than plugging in a uh, external USB. That's an awesome hack. If you guys aren't comfortable pulling your Mac apart, you're welcome to send it in to us at Reboot. We'll have a flat rate for all our YouTubers. And definitely subscribe. We're going to have a lot more of these uh, do-it-yourself uh, tech tips and Hack hacks. And now for verification, we we'll just take that that we just soldered on. Plug it into my personal computer. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Now we can see it installing the device software. My custom built DB9000. And now I have trackpad on my HP laptop. Look at that. How cool is that? Pack hacks. Nice little hack. Yeah. And if you have the keyboard for it, the keyboard works as well too. That's awesome. All from that one USB cord. Good little hack if you ever want to have a desktop or something and you want to have an Apple keyboard and trackpad. Sure. My wife talking to me on Skype. <laughs> Excellent. Short video today. But yeah, very, very handy. Flip over that, those sides so they can kind of get a good 
look at the solder points here. Uh, it's a great shot. Red, green, white, and then just find over here by these capacitors, little ground, empty spot, works perfect. And he's going to actually solder it into a Apple uh, laptop. And the only downfall on this is you uh, lose a USB port. Lose one USB port. Not a big deal, considering how much it costs to actually replace a, a logic board. But a pretty cool project. From Apple or from us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from Apple, a couple grand. Well, a thousand bucks. Excellent. We appreciate that. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video.